If you're looking to buy a budget gaming keyboard, then you're at the right place. In this video, we will take a look at what I think are the best budget gaming keyboards of 2021, and I will give you a few different options depending on what the keyboard is going to be used for. To see the most up-to-date prices and find out more information about these keyboards, you can check out the links in the description below. At number five, we have the Techware Phantom 87. It's best under $50. First off, we have the Techware Phantom 87. This keyboard comes in a small form factor with a 10 keyless version. It is pretty light, has a great lifespan for its switches, a great cable, a beautiful design, mechanical keys, and much more. It is one of the best because it delivers more than you would expect. Something else that you should know is that this keyboard has an amazing performance thanks to its Otimo mechanical switches, which come in three different variations. Number one, brown, blue, and red. The brown one comes with a classic mechanical feeling, the blue one delivers the typewriter experience, and the red one, as you may know, is designed for gamers. It comes with an amazing experience overall for a variety of functions, and I must say that the Techware Phantom 87 is very responsive and satisfying to use. The keys of this keyboard are very responsive and perfect for gamers. It, might, it may not be the most feature-rich keyboard in the market, but for its price, the Techware Phantom 87 delivers ton of performance. It is very durable and it can last you for years without a problem. To conclude, I would say that if you want the best of the best, you should definitely consider taking a look at this one. At number four, we have the Razer Sinosa V2, which is best for most people. The Sinoza range has always been a good entry point to the world of gaming keyboards. And the latest installment, the Razer Sinoza V2 doesn't let the side down. Affordable, yet reliable, this is a budget product that doesn't feel cheap. If anything, it improves upon the legacy and supplants its predecessors. It has plenty of great features that any hardcore gamer would love. Gaming keyboards are an essential purchase if you play on PC, but they can break the bank. That's why the Razer Sinoza V2 is a godsend. Although it's not the best gaming keyboard on offer, it still puts in a very respectable performance at an affordable price. As a membrane device, this version of the Sinoza is much quieter than the competition. That's because its keys are pressing down on a rubbery sheet, meaning you don't get the distract distracting typewriter clack of a mechanical dex. That makes it perfect in a busy household or at work where you don't want to cause too much noise. It offers a good performance too. The smooth plastic keycaps are satisfying to type with. Macro settings allow you to program each key and its smaller footprint means you won't have trouble fitting it on your desk. One of the best budget gaming keyboards without a doubt. At number three, we have the Logitech G613, which is best wireless keyboard. The Logitech G613 is a pretty beast. It is a mechanical wireless keyboard that Logitech is pitching to gamers, a, de a demographic notorious for clinging to latency-free wired connections. Aesthetically speaking, the keyboard looks plain with a black and gray plastic chassis and white lettering on black keycaps. There is no backlighting, but there are discrete media buttons. It operates via Logitech's own Lightspeed dongle or via Bluetooth, um, though you don't get the ultra low latency and rapid 1ms report rate when using Bluetooth. In fact, the G613 is only wireless with no option to plug in a USB cord, even if you want to. When it comes to connectivity, the G613 can connect via, via either a wireless dongle or Bluetooth or both. If you want to jump back and forth between typing on your computer and typing on your phone, the keyboard even comes with a cute little phone stand. If I have to mention a disadvantage, I would say that the lack of LED backlighting is slightly harder to overlook. As for myself, I have never been a fan of RGB lighting, but there are plenty of gamers who love it, especially those who prefer to play in the dark. Although it is just my personal opinion, that doesn't have to affect at your final decision. Overall, if you're looking for a quality and durable keyboard, then the Logitech G613 would be your ideal option. At number two, we're ranking Corsair K55 RGB Pro, which is best for macro keys. The Corsair K55 RGB Pro combines the feature of a mechanical gaming keyboard with the affordability of a membrane model, albeit imperfectly. The first thing you'll notice when you use the K55 RGB Pro is how quiet it is. Thanks to its rubber dome case switches and plastic chassis, this board is remarkably quiet. There's no annoying thing when it comes to lighting. You can light 
up to your desktop with six onboard lighting effects. Assign a color to each lighting zone or program your own vibrant lighting effects across five RGB lighting zones with Corsair IQ software. In the bells and whistles department, the Corsair K55 RGB Pro gets you just about everything right. This keyboard offers per key RGB lighting and an extra column of macro keys, both of which are very rare in programmable models. The Corsair K55 RGB Pro works fine across a variety of game genres. The keys aren't necessarily any more comfortable for gaming than they are for typing, but I also didn't notice any sort of drawbacks for everyday play. The Corsair K55 RGB Pro is a standout keyboard with very few flaws. It offers a premium typing experience all while being a solid keyboard for gaming. While it's too large for the average user, anyone with a desk space and reasons to use its macro keys should consider the K55 RGB Pro as their daily driver. Top of the list, number one, we have the Logitech G413, which is best overall. As our top pick, we have the Logitech G413. The Logitech G413 is an amazing gaming keyboard. It features Romer J switches that have a smooth bump for tactile feedback and have a quick, quick actuation point. The board is well built and features red backlighting. Unfortunately, you can't use any key to set macros and need to use the function keys, which isn't ideal for most. I should also mention that it has a pretty nice build quality. It has a nice brushed aluminum finish with very little flex. But the keyboard does show some flaw, flaws. The ABS keycaps feel a bit cheap and shine very easily with regular daily use. Some even seem slightly crooked and don't look properly aligned. Like most of Logitech's gaming keyboards, the G413 has the company's proprietary Romer G switches underneath its keycaps. For the uninitiated, Romer Gs are quite-ish tactile switches that approximate the feel of a Cherry MX Brown. At least according to Logitech's evaluations, they are a little faster and more resilient than Cherry's. But either way, the bottom line is that they're quick, comfortable and not too loud. If fancy extra features don't excite you, the G413 is a reliable product encased in an inexpensive new shell. Definitely one of the best budget gaming keyboards in the market. Now let's go to the buying guide. Number one, we have the polling raid. If you're wondering how to choose the perfect gaming keyboard, then this is a term worth learning. The responsiveness of a gaming keyboard is described as a polling raid. The frequency at which your keyboard delivers input to your PC and how often it checks the keyboard's USB for user input data. You'll want a keyboard that can match the rate of your monitor. Whilst a standard computer keyboard runs at 125 Hz for a decent gaming experience that reflects your performance, you're looking for a polling rate of around 1000 Hz. Number two, we have illumination. When it comes to backlighting, gamers generally have three choices in keyboard. None, one color, or full RGB. Backlighting is overall not as useful as it may sound. Even if you're not an excellent typist, you'll probably figure out where, where you need to put your fingers for game commands easily enough. On the other hand, if you have a blue computer case, a blue mouse and a blue power indicator on your monitor, a blazing red keyboard is going to look pretty silly. Number three, we have the longevity. Each time a rubber dome is compressed, it loses some of its flexibility. So over time, commonly used keys such as WSAD become less responsive and will eventually stop responding to your keystrokes. This is far less of a problem with mechanical keyboards, which wear out more evenly and as a result, typically have a much longer usable life than a rubber dome keyboard. Last but not least, of course, pricing. Gaming keyboards don't generally fit into neat price categories. In my experience, every company has a different idea about how much a feature like full RGB lighting or mechanical switches is worth and will charge accordingly. There are some very broad guidelines you can use when selecting a keyboard, but these will vary considerably depending on retailer, sales and whether there is a newer model about to replace something. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you found this video to be very helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate about the projects I mentioned in this video, you can leave a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as I can.